Hey friends, it's Missy with the Bella Boulevard Creative Team, and I'm back today with a new process video. And our theme this week is being inspired by Pinterest, and I found this awesome design on Pinterest and wanted to recreate it on a layout. I wanted to recreate the squares and the same shape and some similar colors. And so I pulled out the Popsicles and Pandas collection. I think this is a really fun summer collection. It's got all my favorite colors and so many fun different patterns and fun embellishments. And so I pulled out a square punch that I have and I'm going to go through the 6x8 paper pad and some of the 12 by 12 papers and just punch out several different squares. Now uh, I want to use some solids as well as some patterns and that's one really fun thing about the 6x8 paper pads is you've got all the patterns that are in the 12x12 12 12 collection but the backs of them are all solid colors that coordinate and you can see here as I'm flipping through that you get lots of different shades of solids and so I kind of want to mix and match and I'm not going to use as many photos as the Pinterest image has. I'm only going to use two pictures and I'm going to try to mix and match all these different colors and try to just make a very fun, colorful, and different layout. Now I'm just going to play around here and see what I've got and sort of put these together like a puzzle and I don't have my pictures out yet. They're coming. And there they are. They're pretty small. I wanted to have pictures that I could punch but have a small image. And so these are some pictures of my oldest daughter around our pool. And I took them from across the pool. And so, you know, she's small in the pictures. But that's the way I wanted it because the uh, squares are small. And so I, I wanted to be able to convey what was in the picture without it being too close up. And a lot of my pictures are close ups. And so I really searched around in my picture collection and found some that were small. So now I'm going to use some of this light pink cardstock as my background and I'm going to add some mixed media work to it. This is just white gesso and I'm just adding some around the edges kind of in a diamond shape where you're going to see this peeking out from behind the squares. And so to add some color to the background, I'm going to use the Illustrated Faith Shanna's Favorite Colors watercolor set. And very pretty colors. I'm going to add some pinks, some blues, and some of that golden yellow. And one thing that I like, well, there's many things that I like about this collection, but I like the fact that it has that royal blue color in it. And so I'm going to try to incorporate that into my background and into the embellishments as well because it's a, just a different shade of blue. I don't use it very often and so I wanted to take advantage of it being in this collection and use it. So I'm trying to create that salmon coral pink color and then the light blue color and I'm just going to play around with the blues and uh, I'm using a technique that I use quite frequently. I know a lot of people love this technique and it's just brushing the paint onto some plastic packaging and then you flip it over and you smudge it down and you get this really fun watercolor splotch effect. It's just something different. Uh, the effect you're going to get is different versus using a brush. And I'm also going to add some splatters. And right now it just looks like I have four little splotches of color and when I go to start to add everything back on it's going to look a lot better I think. And I picked this Pinterest image because it was just very different. Um, I like the shape and I like the fact that you can just plug in some small pictures and then embellish around the page. And, you know, you could recreate this and use a lot more pictures rather than the pattern paper. But I wanted to keep it simple and I just went for the two photos. I'm just going to add a little bit of glue behind these squares to go ahead and get those down because they're going to keep moving around the more I, <laughs> the more I go. So I'm going to get those stuck down. Now what I'm going to do is come back over some of these little squares with some of the mixed media and to do that I'm going to add some more gesso and I'm not 
trying to cover up each square. I don't want them to be completely whited out. I know a lot of times I do that with gesso or acrylic paint, but in this case, I want these colors to show and I want the shapes to show, but I do want to add some ink or some watercolor on top of these squares. And so the white gesso is going to help protect the paper and it's also going to give me a little bit of white space and help keep the colors as they are and not change when they hit that colored paper, especially the solids. Because if I try to put pink on top of, say, the green square, it's not going to look pink anymore. But if I add the, the gesso on top of it, it's going to help it to stay that pink color no matter where I put it. And it also helps the paper from tearing and ripping. And I just like a messy artsy look here and so I'm just kind of going over some of it with the watercolor and just overlapping the paint so it's not so crisp against the background. It just kind of looks like it came on top of it. So I like how that looks. I kind of got some hazy, smoky, faded edges. And I know I want to do some stitching, but at this point I wasn't ready to do that yet. So I'm going to add a little bit of tissue paper behind my pictures because everything, as far as the papers go, is you know perfectly lined up and perfectly straight. And I like to have a little bit of messiness going on. And so that tissue paper even though the pictures are still straight, the tissue paper just kind of gives it a, a messy edge. Now these are the puffy stickers that come in the Popsicles and Pandas collection and they are super adorable. And I actually wind up not even using any of the pandas, but I do use some of these adorable flamingos. And I've been on a flamingo kick lately. And so many of these fun embellishments, they all just scream summer. There's ice cream and popsicles and clouds and ladybugs and watermelon cupcakes. And so I just tried to use a couple different things that just sort of scream summer. It's not necessarily going on in the picture, but that's okay. I want this to just kind of encompass summer things. Now I did take some time and used white thread on my sewing machine and I just stitched around the perimeter of each square. And this is just going to kind of give it a little bit more of a crisp look, but it's also going to add some texture and dimension. And I'm going to flip up the edges of the squares. And you can see there I just went around every single one and created sort of like a little patchwork quilt there. I'm not a quilter by any means but I love the the look of them on paper like this. Now some of the edges I couldn't ruffle up because of the gesso but the ones that I could I uh, did that so it's gonna give it some extra dimension and texture. So I'm going to come back in with the embellishments that I chose and I'm going to start to layer in some of those little flamingos and some of those watermelons. I just love that pop of color and I think they're so cute. And the flamingo on the right is that royal blue color. And I didn't want to get too busy with the embellishments because the squares you know, they're pretty colorful themselves as is. Now this is the fundamental stick, yeah, fundamentals sticker sheet that comes in the collection. I'm gonna add a couple of these little stickers. They're basically cardstock stickers. And I'm gonna add in some hearts and just a couple of little phrase stickers. And then for my title, I'm gonna use, I believe this color is called Cotton Candy and these are the Puffy Alphas. And I'm gonna type I'm not going to type. I'm not typing. I'm going to stick down the word sunshine and then I'm going to use some of the chow chipboard and to uh, create the word love. And so my title is going to be very simple, sunshine love. And I am going to come back underneath those pink stickers and add some more watercolor under the word sun because you can't really read it because of the black and white stripes and the letters are so light. And I decided to tilt most of the embellishments, except the flamingos, but the watermelons and the, the title and the hearts, I'm going to just keep it on that little tilt. I am going to add the clouds and I am going to keep those straight as well. 
and I'm just gonna add the clouds over to the upper right I just think they look cute there and since it's a summer I think clouds are appropriate I'm gonna come in with some tangled thread there and that is a blue color and I did add a little bit of foam underneath that cloud If you know me, you know I can't have a layout without adding a little bit of messy thread in there. And this is pink. Or actually, it's more of a coral pink color. It matches the pink that's in this collection. So I'm going to take these letters off and come back in with a little bit more of a pink, darker pink watercolor there. It's just going to help the letters stand out a little bit more. I kind of wish I would have went over that black and white piece with some more gesso right there in the middle, but I didn't. But I think it turns out okay. And now I think you can see them a little bit better. Now, these chipboard pieces do stick really well, but when you have gesso and things behind it, nothing tends to stick really well. So I did make sure that everything was glued down. Now, I'm going to add a little bit of shading to the bottom of this word love, and I'm just using a light blue gelato, and this is going to match the light blue square that's in the upper left area. To pull in more of that royal blue color, I'm going to use these really cute puffy alpha hearts. And these are the blueberry mix. I'm going to add three of those. So I've got that royal blue color going all around the page. And I decided to write my journaling in this little pink square since it was the perfect spot. And then I was rummaging through more of my Bella goodies, and I found this really cute sticker sheet from Illustrated Faith, and it was perfect for this. It had more adorable clouds, and so I'm going to layer in more clouds just because they matched, and I thought that looked really cute. I'm dying to use this rainbow. And so I'm going to trim it up a little bit and cut out the inside. And then I'm going to add it right there. I think that looks cute. It's a perfect little addition of color right in that area. Make sure all those clouds are glued down. And I love how this is turning out. Um, I was searching through Pinterest for a long time and nothing jumped out at me. And I knew that once I found the image I wanted, I would, I would know. And sure enough, as soon as I saw it, I thought, ooh, I need to make that. And so I'm so glad I found it. And I hope you guys like it. The last thing I'm going to do is add in some enamel dots. And even though the background looks white, I promise it is light pink. But I love these colors. I love this design. It's so different, so fun. And here's the Pinterest image coming up again, just so you can compare it again. And uh, I think this is super fun to do. Sometimes you just get some really fun ideas from Pinterest. I never would have thought to come up with this design ever in a million years until I saw that. And so now I have a fun page. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Make sure you check out the Bella blog. We've got lots of new collections coming out and they're all awesome. So let me know if you have any questions. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.